All right, well, I have some more really good news uh, concerning my uh, study in these AC motors that uh, I spun off into. And the uh, first one I built was the induction. And then I built this uh, synchronous or synchronous, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, AC motor that is fed by a signal and links up a permanent magnet and is started with a uh, separate starter motor or a separate circuit to get this magnet spinning up so that it sinks in with the alternating current going through this coil and uh, if you look at my last video I was using a little starter motor here with a little magnet and starting it with a double-a battery and I went to the bigger situation with the bigger magnet and the bigger motor because this motor after it starts up the magnet becomes the generator and I was only getting about a volt out of that so I thought I would stick on a big old motor there and see what happens and I don't think this is 12 volts I think this is an 18 volt or such and such motor because uh, it's putting out more than uh, 12 volts but it worked very very well um, the amount of power that I'm getting out of this um, is decent. It's not something to really uh, jump up and down and say, oh, wow, look at that, but it's rather amazing. Old Maggie there, and she's looking, kind of looking her age. She's all cracked up and stuff. Sits way back now from that magnet and lights up just fine. And I'll show the voltage that I'm generating out of that generator motor and lighting up these... Uh, six LED bulbs but this was another thing that was very interesting to me was this is my uh, kilowatt to power meter that shows the uh, power that the system is running at and I've got a 12 volt AC system and uh, this is the uh, um, transformer drawn uh, 5 milliamps right now it's about 2 watts at idle and then uh, I'll turn the system on and I'll show you what this is but this was no different than that little motor right there. And even with the thing loaded down, I do nothing more out of this. And this is kind of a puzzlement to me. And um, this might be that power factor thing that's been discussed before and giving you a false indication of actual power usage. Um, anyway, let me start this up. Uh, what happens here is I fire this motor up that spins this magnet up and gets it in sync with this um, coil that's being energized back and forth by the 60 hertz. Then I disconnect the um, driver, which is this right here. It's a 12 volt battery with a 9 volt in series to get this up to speed. Then I'll show you the power here that's coming off of it. So let me turn this on. Okay, now the system's on. And you can see the... Uh, it's about 110 milliamps, about 12.6 watts, 12.7 watts, and that's without the um, without the thing driving anything. This is just running the coil. The, there's the indicator light, which draws uh, maybe 10 milliamps or so. I've decided that's what that's pulling out of the system. But um, this coil does get quite warm, so I don't have the right coil here, but it does work. But you can see nothing's happening here. I've got a little indication going on there, probably from some induction going on with the coil in that motor. The LEDs are not lit up. Of course, Maggie's not lit up at all. But the system is running. It's just not driving anything. Okay, now let me turn this on, and I'll get this to... Uh, fire up hopefully here and what I do is I start it with the motor okay now the motor you see is running and it's not connected to the battery here I'll take everything off see the battery's not on it but the motor's running and there's Maggie on there's my LEDs on and look at that voltage 18 volts folks coming out of that motor and that's the synchronous or synchronous motor AC motor I can't see her very well and look at this 
You remember what that read before? That read 110 milliamps. Look at my watts. 11.1 watts. It's just not. It's just not taking the power that you would think it would take to make this happen. And yet there it is. And if I put her for closer in, she gets a lot brighter. All she is, by the way, it's a 45 gauge uh, magnet wire, a uh, bridge rectifier on the back. The two LEDs are in parallel, and uh, this is just a pickup coil. And I've used her for years and years, and she's really needs to be uh, retired and a new one made. But that's been very, very handy to take a look at uh, the rotating magnet field in front of a coil. So anyway, that's, like I say, a very interesting little... Uh, upgrade to what I did uh, on my last video was to add this bigger motor which is the starter motor and then the generator once it's started up and like I say that's what that thing is generating and there's the uh, there's the load and those are six LEDs in series now the downside to this is I have tried this on other things and if you exceed um, a certain point in the load, it stalls that motor. And of course, once it stalls, it's out of sync. You can't get it going again until you uh, put the juice to it and, and re restart it up. But uh, it does take a pretty good, uh, pretty good load, considering. And then here again, look at my uh, power consumption. So anyway, it was a very interesting little uh, um, study on this thing, and um, I'm learning uh, on each step of the way here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments.